Uh, my name is Matt Kuman. If we have never met each other, I'd love the opportunity to do that at some point. Uh, but before we jump in, I want to actually look right at the icebreaker question. What was your favorite year of school and what was your least favorite year of school? Um, for me, I want to answer that quick. Uh, my least favorite was the year I started school. Um, and then my favorite year was when I got done. Right. So I hope you guys can have some fun conversations about that. Um, but once you guys get through some of the icebreakers and through the initial who were the Galatians discussion, um, we'll jump right into the right into the discussion questions and we'll rock and roll tonight. So so excited to uh, be having some conversations with you tonight. All right, question number one. Is there someone in your life that you strive to gain approval from? Talk about who that might be in your life. Let's take that answer and go a little bit deeper with it. Why do you think you try and get approval from them? What, what's so important about their approval? Now, this isn't as much of a question, maybe more of a discussion in your group, but when we think about approval, um, there can be good things that we're trying to get approval from, right? We could be trying to present something and we're working really hard to present a project at work or to our school, right? Those can be good things. We work hard to get approval of some people, but on the adverse side of it, um, it there can also be times when, when we're looking for approval that it can be negative, what do some of those times look like? Question number four. Have you ever altered or maybe changed your values um, because you were seeking the approval of someone? Question number five. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 4 says, We speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people, but God who tests our hearts. What stands out to you guys about that passage? And question number six, um, and this is one that I've really been wrestling with too. Um, it says this, if Paul was following you around today, would he speak the words from Galatian to you? So remember the words that he spoke to the Galatians. It says this in verse 10, am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? Right? Would Paul say those words to you after following you around for the day? Talk about what that looks like. All right, groups, that is all we have for our discussion questions. If you guys have time and want to dig a little bit deeper, I'd really encourage you guys to this week um, because there's a question that's posed, is it a warning sign if you never face opposition? Because we know from the New Testament that Jesus even speaks that blessed are those who are persecuted. And there's a few other verses we'll talk about in those questions. So if you have time, I'd love to see you guys work through some of those questions. But otherwise, uh, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you guys soon.